Today, my friends, we're back on Forza Horizon 4, and the Corvette C8 is finally here. I say finally. I can't believe it came out the first week of the new cars being revealed. That right? That's that's how it works. That's how it works, right? Either way, it is at the beginning of the seasons, and that hardly ever happens for the cool cars. Boom! Look at this right there. This is something we can't get. It's very sad. But it's impossible to get this car here. And if we could, I can confirm that this thing would easily cost six figures. Which just kind of removes all the love from it. So the only way you get to experience cars like this is in the game. Now please, I'm begging, look, I want a good V8 sound. Please, Forza, give us a good V8 sound. I mean, it's a look. It's... I didn't mean to do reverse, but... It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better than the normal V8 noise that we get on the sporty super of any V8 car in the game. But of course, we're going to go for our first drive. This is the only way on the Crew 2, because we did that already, that we're going to be able to experience this car. And of course, in the Crew 2, we do have more visual customization, but we'd like to jump to Forza to get a little, I would say, realistic idea. But in terms of engine swapping and the like, Forza has that upper hand. I hope and pray that Need for Speed gets it in the next game. Straight away, I'm going to tell you, it feels just as I would expect an American machine to feel. Lots of power, lots of wheel spin, and is easily, easily one of my favorite cars that has come out of the last five odd years. I feel like we had just a dead zone of poo -poo cars, and all of a sudden last year, poo -poo -poo -poo, and now even this year, even towards the end of last year, <laughs> whatever. In the last year and a half, cars have been pumping out. Awesome cars have been flying out of nowhere. So when we get in the GR Yaris, yeah? Jumping into the upgrades. Now, of course, this car is already beautifully powerful. I love that so much. But we need to see what engines we have available for the swapping of the engine, clearly. Right, so we've got the stock power train. We've got a slightly different V8. Just in case, we've got a V10, V12, and a racing V12, and a 7.2 liter racing V8. That is awesome. That is ridiculous. I'm That's 300 horsepower from doing just a little engine swap, not too shabby. Considering this thing already has ridiculous amount of power, we can twin turbo it now. I know a lot of YouTubers are doing that. It just it, Every single time there's a brand new car with an auto box, like, yes, let's twin turbo it. Because why the hell not? I'm not? I don't think I'll ever see one of these, at least until I go over to the States again, which may take a while. But the fact you can do it in this game, it saves me for now. And if you really want to, you can do an all-wheel drive swap. Pretty sick. Now, I think the first thing that I want to do, should we put in the racing V8 or should we just stick with the normal V8 and max this boy out? Twin turbo. Let's do the twin turbo setup for now. I, I just want to be able to experience that. We're going to leave it rear wheel drive for now just to see how ridiculous this thing's going to spin up the tires. But we'll fly through this menu. Give it all the beans possible. Here is my slightly yellow. It was supposed to be more of an orange. I mean, it, on the video, it actually looks a little bit more orange. So that's good. That's what I want. Anyway, this is my C8 Corvette. Again, I'm so happy that this car is a thing. I've lowered it slightly. I've fully done it out with the standard V8. The fitment on here isn't great. If I went with drift suspension, I think you can lower it a little bit more if I'm right. But also, this shows you why you should have yellow cars in the UK because of the back plate. It works quite well. Thankfully, there's no front plates in Forza. For some reason, we're driving around illegally. Wow. I can't believe it. Can't believe that we're allowed to do that. It's it's just insane. So as I said, this is a twin turbo. You can tell because <laughs> of the lag. You can hear the little ch I mean, you didn't hear it that time, but every now and again, it does let off. This thing is quick. Holy crap, 200 miles an hour. Twin turbo standard. I say standard. We've probably full beans modified was standard V8 in the Corvette C8. I love this thing. Of course, we're going to try multiple engine combinations, but I wanted to jump out, gave this a go, and then we're going to swap between all of the engine configurations that I think we should be should be trying. Of course, the problem here is that this thing, it just slides. It, it's not even going fast, and for some reason, the rears just don't want to grip up. Of course, when I'm fully accelerating like that, but even in, let's go sixth gear into a corner. And watch the bum of this thing slide out. Are you ready? 
What? <laughs> what is that? We've got the best tires on this car. It should not be doing that. I don't care how fast I'm going. Mate, it's, it's not even boosted. It ain't in boost. It's such a lazy bug. Why? Why are you firing up the wheels? I'm trying it. It's got to be done. I want to do it. I think overall, I know it's going to make life much easier. But I do want to see it handle its power because it can definitely push far. And it's already gone up quite a few levels. We're already close to X-Class with the standard engine. Here we go. Oh, bit of squeal. But she is solid. That's more like it. I can dart along the road slowly. Not stupendously, but it's still... Uh, it's still controllable. It grips up a lot quicker. Which is what you want when you've got this ridiculous amount of power. And it's definitely... I would say... I felt the rear wheel drive actually put the power down maybe a little bit better. Maybe it was because I had no control of it. And I was just... I was not ready. Whereas now, I've tamed the beast. I mean, the all-wheel drive system has tamed the beast. How come I can hear race car noises in the cabin? I got the standard V8. We need to go for the... We need to go for a V12 next. Just imagine squeezing the V12 into this. I say squeezing. I feel, I feel like it could. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to say squeezing because that would just be a lot. Why have I known they got six gears? Oh, God, I didn't do the transmission. Interesting. So I feel, I swear we had more gears before we did. That's the drivetrain swap. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's jump into the next engine and i think we're gonna go for the v12 we're gonna go for the v12 i i just i, I want to do it i feel like if we have the ability to do it in the game therefore we should do it and that is all that matters what can we get out of this as is do we have any aspiration conversions twin turbo don't mind if i do all right let's get no to the end and get back on track interesting this aero does quite a lot for the car that's pretty mental and Removing the wing helps. I ain't doing that though. Oh, hang on. I swapped to the other V8 and we're instantly in X class. I say instantly. I did a little, little tweak and to say, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. If I go to the suspension. Oh, interesting. So I do have a, the absolute lowest we can have it. I, I thought so because I lowered the suspension as far as it could go. Surely the drift can't go any lower. That's kind of disappointing. We've I've got a little bit of a uh, camber. If we go for the drift one, which looked kind of cool, but we can make it even more if we put the modified Forza wing on it as well. It's a shame it looks horrendous, but we could make it the absolute best if we put that wing on. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? All right, here we go. This sounds stupid. It feels wrong in so many ways. Holy crap, this is fast. You know, <laughs> if I ever had unlimited money to be stupid with, this is pretty dumb. This is pretty dumb. 200 miles an hour just like that. Flying through the speed. We've got no turnability whatsoever at that speed. So we're going to fly through the field and probably roll. Oh! We're going to have a cheeky little race against some supercars. We've probably maxed ahead of all of these baboons. But you know what I'm saying? i got to give it... A go. Oh my. The straights are on my side. I gotta go like an absolute baby through the corners. Because this thing feels like a... It feels like a train. It can't do great things other than in a straight line. <laughs> when I get a straight line, this thing is an absolute rocket ship. And of course, in the slight bend, it's not too shabby either. But yeah I, I i do like this car i very much want to experience it in real life and maybe a like more sim game but of course there's gonna be a while before it's properly in any major major sim racing titles i do want to experience how this thing could properly feel because i know for a fact that forza does exaggerate some of the slide ability and the understeer ability and the oversteer ability of some motor vehicles and therefore I would like to, like, for example, the stock RCF, I can tell you, it's almost impossible to get that thing to spin up. But in this game, it spins up like nobody's business. So I very much would love to see what this thing drives like firsthand. Of course, maybe without 1200 horsepower. Because <laughs> I think it would feel just a little bit different with a V8 with twin turbos. 
and a lot more power. I didn't even, I didn't even properly read. I think it's like 1,200 horsepower, the last engine we did. But there is some potential here, and I very much want to see what the community comes up with. I just say that I don't think overall, as a standard for most of us, we're going to be able to get this thing to go like we want it to. 1,500 horsepower! <laughs> This is an awesome addition. I don't think it's going to be the best at anything. I think it's a bit oversteery slash understeery. Depending on this situation, of course, tuners are going to make this thing a lot better. But I still don't think it's going to be that great. It's... I mean, it, you kind of want a good base to start with. You know what I'm saying? But it's awesome. And I'm glad that it's now in Forza. And more people get to enjoy it in this game. Super easy to unlock, of course, the festival playlist. You already know. You do three races on the higher difficulties to the high, higher difficulties. Higher skilled or higher, and you get it. Pretty straightforward. All right, let me know your thoughts on this card down below. Is it cool? Is it not cool? Is it late? <laughs> I don't know. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.